Hello, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up your material for rotary within Carveco Maker Plus. So if I go to the file drop down menu, go to new rotary model, and I'm going to set up a four inch diameter by 12 inches job on the X axis. Select OK, and that will open up my cylinder for me. Here on the right hand side, you can see that the diameter is four inches. So I can select here to toggle between the rotary and the flat. Let's take a plan view of that. And I'm just going to draw a square in the middle there. I'm going to open up the shape editor and I'm going to add a start height to this of half an inch. Select apply and let's rotate around. And you can see that I've got a half inch square sticking up. Now if I wrap that, you can see that I've got it sticking up on the rotary, which is absolutely fine. But if you take a look down on the right hand side here, what's happened is it's added half an inch of material to either side of this job. So the diameter now is five inches and that's not going to fit on my piece of material that I have on the machine, that's four inches. So how do I get this to fit? Well, Carveco automatically takes care of that by shrinking the model when you set up your material. So if I go to toolpaths and I go here to set up the material, what will happen is exactly like before, if you've seen the Carveco Maker videos, is you need to set up the material thickness to be half of your diameter, so the radius. So for this job, it's two inches. And leave the material Z0 and the model position at the top. If I select OK now, what will happen is this will be shrunk to fit within my model. So you can see I have my material on the outside. This is, if I go back to untitled there, this is four inches as you can see here. So this is my stock that I set up at the start. And you can also see that I have this piece sticking up and I have a diameter minimum of three inches. So that makes sense because this is sticking up by half an inch and because it's round, it's going to be on both sides. So it's going to be an inch. Now that's absolutely fine, as long as we take that into consideration when we're modeling. Now, what you can also do is make things too large. So if I were to delete this material now and unwrap, and I'll just reset the relief, and then let's make this, let's say two and a half inches high. What happens now? So if I wrap that now, you can see that I've got this huge piece sticking on the top. And you can see if I go here, that my diameter max is actually eight inches. So my original piece is only four inches. So there's no way that this is going to fit on there. So if I go to toolpaths, set up the material again, and I try to make this two inches now, which is what it needs to be, it grays out the OK button because it can't physically do it because the model thickness is actually two and a half inches. So there's no way that I can actually do that because it's too big. So I need to cancel that. Let's do something a little bit smaller. So let's make this, let's say 1.5 inches and apply. And what does this do? So I'll toggle that around. You can see that it's six inches diameter. So if I go to set up the material, you can see my model thickness now is one and a half inches. So that's three inches overall. So I have an inch diameter to play with because my original diameter was four inches. So if I put that at two, watch what happens to this model. This will shrink down to fit within there. Okay, so that's 
shrunk down to fit within that four inches. So if I go to Untitled, you can see the minimum diameter, which is this, is one inch. And the maximum diameter is four inches, which I actually wanted. Now, if I take a view on the side, you can see that this section comes right to the edge. Now, if I wanted to, I could change this by dropping that down there and select OK. And then if I take a side view again, you can see that I've got this material here that's going to be removed. So this is how you set up your material for a rotary model within Carveco Maker Plus. And although you don't have the tools to create reliefs, this is also the same principle for Carveco Maker.